So that last phase was my blending phase. Now there's another phase that if you want to get more realistic even, uh, it's called the polishing phase. Of course these are terms that you know I'm just kind of throwing out there, but uh, if you polish something it just makes it a little bit more realistic and uh, or you can, you can call it tightening up it. So what I'm going to do is take my texture brush, make sure it's on normal and turn its opacity down. Okay, this last phase really, really takes kind of somewhat time and patience. And what I'm going to do is take this and start polishing it up. Start really blending these in. And what I want to do is eliminate any harsh line that's appearing. Here's a harsh line right here. What I want to do is start blending that out. I'm not even worried about the outside edge. That's it's and it's one of those things in a color study that you just you're more worried about blending color than anything else. Lightest colors will always sit on top of the skin. And I'm not going to do too much polishing in this region because of the simple fact that that light distorts polish. So I want to keep that as rough as I want right outside the edge. I don't want to polish that too much. The last phase uh, is taking a normal brush like this and going back to something like the 27. And the opacity gets ranked up there, but the flow goes down. And then you get put it on an airbrush. And an airbrush allows me to blend some areas together without destroying too much texture. And that's the key here. You want to do this without destroying texture that you just put in there. You just want light, light, light. And you can see how even the smallest misjudgment will cause some lines to go in there. If you feel that you need to turn down the opacity, you sure can. Um, it's That's perfectly fine. You're going to find different ways to do this. That's fine too. But I'm just giving you uh, the kind of easy way into digital painting. And I think this is kind of the hardest thing is learning how to blend color together to get it to play around. All right, so what I'm going to do is clean up the outside edge with a very soft eraser. Eraser flow. Okay, so now if I want this ball, just sort of take on the background just a little bit. There we go. Very cool. So there is cheaper ways to do that. Of course, you have your blender that we made earlier. But what's really nice is to be able to just go in there and actually paint. Uh, paint it. Don't use so many cheap tools. Just want to blend these together a little bit more. I was seeing a harsh line. I didn't want that. If 
I use a, the texture brush again, it's just reinforcing this texture back into it. All right, that's how you blend all your colors together, get them to flow quite nicely. So go to uh, the next video for an assignment.